So it has been a while since we have made a video. And so I recorded this one this morning and realized the sound was jacked. So I'm going to try to overlay the audio. We are going to start out with this spider witch wreath with our little spider face decal we've created. And we have a set of legs, little witch legs that are going to go on this little guy. And you can order the face and the legs all on our website. I will post a link um, down in the comments. So if you want the face and legs, you can get it from us. We're using a unique in the Creek board. This is a character board. Um, we buy these from them, but you easily could achieve the same look on a wire mesh wreath, um, by putting your little face on a rigid material and then using some cable ties and zip ties to attach him to your mesh, um, wreath. So you don't have to have these boards, but, um, we have eight legs, four go one direction and before go the other direction, we are using a glitter to like tool in purple and green. So we have 15 green pieces and 15 purple pieces cut in like six inch increments. Um, we're using standard black mesh cut into 10 inch pieces. Um, those are pretty much going to be all the materials that we're going to use, plus some zip ties um, to put it all together. So we're going to let's move some of this stuff out of the way and I'll get started on getting this guy going. So first I want to make sure I'm using the correct size and lining it up correctly. So the unique in the Creek boards, you see up two small dots there at the top. That's for the hanger. And that is how I know um, where the top of the board is. So I um, just adjusted the board to be like that. And I'm going to peel our decal um, from its back. Um, these are made of a water resistance material. We use them to do um, car decals all the time. So um, they're pretty water resistant. And you just need to find an edge. I have no fingernails right now. So I was struggling and it is a Monday morning. So of course it wasn't going to be easy. So I find the edge here and peel the back from the front. Just throw that back piece away there. And you're going to take your little fuzzy spider face and put him right in the middle of your board. I use those inner circles as my guide. Um, and I just want to center him right in that space and then rub all those bubbles out. Should we, if you mess up, simply peel him up and, and reset him, but he should go on pretty easily. And once he is on, he is on. He's not coming off there. <clears throat> so we're going to use this mesh. We're going to fold the inside pieces in, fold again and pinch to make a little loop where just our cut edges are on the inside. And we are going to bundle that with a piece of purple tool. And we're just going to pinch and gather that in the middle. And then we're going to add a second piece of tool um, in green. Let me get this purple one correct. There we go. And now we're going to grab a green one and fold, fold, pinch, and add him to our little bundle. If you want to pre-make these bundles, you can use these cute little, little pink clips I've gathered from the Dollar Tree. And you could pre-make all your little bundles, just make 15 bundles, set them aside, and you'll be ready to um, place and zip. Just zip them and go. We're going to do the same thing all the way around. Our legs are going to go every other spot around the board. Um, not, not here in this spot. I'm going to adjust them here in a second, move it to where it's supposed to be once I realize I was put in the wrong place. All right, so they go there. So if you have this board, it's going where there are three holes and we are going to use the two exterior holes to attach the legs all the way around. Um, so it'll be a bundle with a leg and then a bundle without a leg all the way around the board. Um, so every set of holes is getting a bundle, but every other set is going to get our legs. And you'll have eight legs total to make our spider. Um, I had forgot to put the holes in my little legs, um, so I just took my X-Acto and cut the holes in. I'm going to get one of my little black zip ties and put it in my hole. And I promise you will not be seeing my head this entire video. I realized you guys were watching my head and had to move out of the way there, but there we go. We've got a zip tie and the first set of holes and we are going to feed on one of our legs there. There's two holes in each leg. So one hole for each piece of the zip tie. And leave that open because now we're going to take this little bundle that we made, um, gather it up together there, and we are going to put it in between the two pieces of the zip tie. There we go. And we're going to zip 
that together. Pointy side into the flat side and pull until you hear it click, click, click and pull tight. All right, that is our first bundle and our first leg on our board. All right, so time to move on. We'll fluff kind of as we go to see what's gonna look best. So our next hole is a set of two holes and we are going to put a zip tie into that as well. So we're gonna make us another bundle here, fold in the cut edge, fold in the cut edge on the other side, kind of fold in and pinch together. One purple, pinch, 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 and gather. And a green, pinch, 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 and gather. All right, put that together there. I'll grab another clippy and hold it. I should have probably just put in my zip tie before I made the bundle, but you know, just got to keep it interesting. So I'm going to put this zip tie in the two hole space. And then we'll attach our bundle there. And I am going to take our bundle, put it in the center here. And we are going to zip it on in. There we go. All right, bundle number two done. So bundle number three is going to be a leg and a bundle of color. So leg, no leg, leg, no leg, pretty much all the way around the board. Um, so in the next one, we'll do one more here together. I'm gonna put my zip tie in and I'm gonna realize, I think I put the zip tie in backwards. I think this is when I did it wrong. Oh, yep, okay, can't turn it. Let's take it back out. Let's do it again. Always make sure you're putting your zip tie in the correct direction, even I mess up. All right, try again. Zip ties in the right way, flat side towards pointy side, only way they work. Leg is on. All right, all right, all right. There we go. And I didn't pre-make a bundle, so I'm going to grab the black. And we're going to start another bundle here with a piece of black. Fold, fold, fold and pinch. Add the purple. Add the green. And we're gonna put that right in between those two zip ties. Now, if I was making this to um, do it as quickly as possible and not try to make a video, I would preload my zip ties in all of my holes um, so that they are done and ready. And I would pre-make all my bundles so they are done and ready. And then I would just be rocking around the edge of this. So you get the premise here. We're going to go leg, bundle, bundle, leg, bundle. So a leg with a bundle, no leg. A leg with a bundle, then no leg. So I'm going to fast forward here for a little bit and get us closer to the end and I will be back.
Okay, so we are just about to the end here, and we are working on the last few bundles. So just finishing up with some black and some purple and some green. And this stuff is sticky and you get glitter everywhere when you use it, but it does have a really cool effect to it. So we'll zip tie this guy in here. And that is our last bundle. And there is our spider. So you have eight cute, adorable little legs sticking out. And this video honestly doesn't do it justice when I have them on the wall. He is just so super cute. And you can fluff your your curls. I don't think I'm going to add a bow to this guy. A lot of people add bows to everything, but I'm just not a big bow person. So, um, and not for all wreaths. This guy just doesn't need one. I think it'll take away from his fun. So I think the witch legs are super cute um, and his little furry face. So there is a unique and cute Halloween wreath that you can assemble in probably less than a half an hour or so, less than an hour, let's say, cutting and everything. So he's super cute. I will put a link down there if you want to order his face or his legs um, and a link to any other things that might be helpful on the project. And hopefully I will get back in the swing of things and make some more videos for us soon. But thanks for joining me and I hope to see you soon.